Okay, the 14th frame. John Higgins to break. get to this red the green's just blocking him out and there you see it John can't get to the reds to the left of the pink and black so you have to be very precise here Cannon on the blue it was a good one. Did he play the plant? There was a lot of distance between the two reds. Only John would be able to tell us whether he took that on or not. for John here is the black's only available in the one corner pocket and he hasn't dropped on a red <coughs> just needed another inch <coughs> so just three points from that chance Yes, he's got to cover a path to this red out to the right of the table towards this corner pocket. Down right in the jaws of the yellow pocket. Well, thereabouts would just about cover it behind the reds, but after Ronnie's devastating start, he knows he's got to be ultra careful, certainly for a shot or two. Higgins very nicely unless John can possibly get through yeah there's just enough room to take this red on good pot but not ideally on the black. One of that white off the cushion a couple more inches. This is a thinnish contact and the white's running towards the middle pocket. I don't think he can just drop it in and hold for that red near the blue spot. He might have to go around the colours, the bulk colours.
Nein. Just where he didn't want to be. He can pot the blue, but it's dead straight. Brown is a much more difficult pot. John Higgins, nine. Well, gambled a little. Could have tucked him behind the blue. Felt confident enough to go for the brown, but it was never going to be easy. But the real problem is that he's got perfect on the red. One. Ronnie just briefly thought about playing with a lot of topspin to open the reds up still might do that he does create a terrific amount of topspin but the only thing is if he plays that shot he could slide off the side of the red so that's why he's just giving it a little bit more thought in fact he's changing his mind now and he's played a pretty poor shot he played for the one to the right Seven. of the black and he can't see enough of that he's got the one to the middle though I've not got the angle on the black to go into the reds this time. Oh, well, maybe he has. That one shot has created a tremendous opportunity. 16. Just got to be precise here. The had to miss that red to be on another red to the corner, and uh, 35. that wasn't a very good shot by Ronnie's standards. Misjudged that badly. Yes, it was just a matter of getting in between the two reds, so it was a bad misjudgment. But what a recovery. <laughs> Can he count on the two reds that are together? He couldn't quite, but he still managed to open them up. But if this red doesn't go up past 43. the pink, he didn't get a very good split there. He was a bit unfortunate. If it doesn't go past the pink, he'll have to take it to the right middle. And that's, well, fairly tight. Control shot. He knew that he wouldn't leave a lot if he'd have missed it, but he's perfect on the blue.
Fifty. Fifty-eight. And the first frame lasted just under eight minutes. This one has been going just over ten. So what a turnaround for Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's off and running again. Sixty-four. Sixty-five. Seventy-one. John Higgins hasn't done a deal wrong. Two. Not uh, just missed a couple, which weren't easy anyway. But this is Ronnie O'Sullivan, which you never know. He just seems occasionally to to lose the spark, but then it's back. And he's now playing better snooker than he has throughout the evening. There's that topspin again. <laughs> Terrific shot to get to this side of the yellow. 88. And we all know when he's playing like this, Ray, he's just unstoppable. 91. Well, you just feel the only way he's going to miss one is if he's careless. He just gets in front of himself, but uh, well, he just failed to get a century 95. in the last frame. Broke down at 99. he leads and that of course means that it's guaranteed that Ronnie will lead going into tomorrow's third session whatever happens in the remaining two frames he really is flowing now Steve and he played a wonderful shot to split the pack there, yes possibly the greatest ever break build we've ever seen in the game that we know what he did with the ball he played with severe backspin potted the black into these reds when it's got to these reds it's got nowhere to go the only thing on the ball is the backspin and it takes it over to here but just take a look at one other thing we know what he happened but just have a look at what happens to how far he goes through the queue Right, with the ball. How far he goes through the white ball? How far did that cue go through there? And that's how he got the backspin on. Rammed his cue right through the ball. Terrific commitment to the shot. But he is flowing. It's neither of them were in the first session before the break there, but now Ronnie is in among the balls and is looking very good, isn't he? Yes, he is. Um, you know, John's just got to just got to try and get in there somehow, but it's not it's not easy. <laughs> 